Welcome home, my dear. Come here. Allow me to take your coat off of you. Hmm? Yes. I was going through some of the old things. And I saw this apron you bought for me for our second anniversary. And I thought, since I plan on making you a dinner tonight, it would be nice to wear this apron again. And funny enough, it fits perfectly. Like a day has not gone since I haven't worn it. And it's absolutely perfect. No, no, no. Don't you move. No, no moving for you. Come here. I am going to sweep you off your feet. And then I'm going to take you down. I'm going to carry you to the bedroom. I'm going to spin you around like this. I'm going to sit you on the bed. Careful. No, no, no. Don't move. Allow me to take off your shoe. Feel my hand on your calf. Good. Now I'm going to slip off your heel real quick. One. Two. And don't you move an inch. I'm just putting away your shoe. And I'll lay back. I'll lay down on your back. Good girl, now I'm going to take down your skirt. <laughs> Why are you shy? Oh, please, you've asked me to do far, far worse things. I'm simply helping you change after a long day at work. Uh-huh. Very well. Sit up. Look at me. Look at me. Good girl. Now I'm going to take off your blouse. Push your chest forward. Push your chest forward. Good. I'm going to take your buttons off one by one. Put your arms up. Uh-huh. You're wearing the matching underwear that I got for you. Well, the ones that I picked out at least. <laughs> yeah. No, no. The cute little bear print is adorable. Oh, please. It's not childish, dear. It is cute. There's nothing wrong with you wearing something cute, okay? That being said, what are you feeling like wearing tonight? Hmm? You want one of my t-shirts? Anything else? No? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find a really large one. Yeah, a large one to act like a little dress for you. Okay, do you want the plain white one? The red one? The ACDC one? Hmm? ACDC? Gotcha. No, I'm not going to give it to you. Stand up. Baby, stand up. 
My love, I'm not playing games. Stand up. There you go. I'll put it over your head. Now put your arms through. Perfect. Give me your hand. Well, I'm going to take you down to the kitchen. And let's go. Um, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Hold on. I know it smells amazing. I tried a couple new techniques that I've been working on. In theory, that is. It should work, but... <laughs> I am not feeding you experimental food. Some of the methods I use to prepare the food are experimental. There's a difference, okay? No, no, no. It's just different mixtures of the same things we usually eat. Don't worry. Yeah, I brought out the list of things that you're allergic to and stuck it in the fridge so I can make sure I remember each and every one. Of course, there. And voila. So, first off, I know you've been wanting Chinese food, so I tried my hand at fried rice. Mm-hmm, I left rice, well, I cooked more rice yesterday than we needed. That way I can put it in the fridge and we can get, like, the stale rice to fry rice with the day. There are carrots, peas... Cabbages, bell peppers, hot peppers. There are some pimentos. Cauliflower. Mm -hmm. One or two bits of broccoli. There's a couple of bits of mushrooms as well. Then over here, I have a baked chicken. I tried a new honey mustard sauce base. I pre-seasoned the chicken for about, whew, it's been about three days now, one night overnight in the fridge, then two nights in the freezer, and then today I took it out and I let it marinate some more by itself, it has a very, very pleasing bit of rosemary. Oh, and I found this this ginger uh, seasoning based. Well, it's a usual, you know, cilantro and all of that jazz sometimes. And I don't know. The, it's all of these spices put together. But the ginger is just so mm, perfect. It blends so well with the honey. I don't know what about it just makes it taste so I'm sorry, I'm going off again, aren't I? Well, I got your favorite beans right here. Nothing too fancy, just cooked down stewed, same way as usual. Put in the oil, put in the carrots, put in the onions, put in the garlic, put in the bells, put in the pimentos, put in everything in. Make sure it sautés a bit, then add in the... The beans, make sure that sautés down even more. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. There's nothing to celebrate. You didn't forget a birthday or anything, okay? My love, I do not need a special occasion to happen for me to want to treat you to something nice. For me to want to do something good for you, okay? You go out there every day and you work very hard. You do your best. And I'm here to support you, okay? So stop worrying. Decompress. And eat. I've made enough food to last us three days. You can eat as much as you like. Don't even think about it, okay? Okay. 
Hmm? I know. I love you too. Forever always.